All right, so the first prereq we're going to do is set up this free GitHub account. So let's go ahead and go to the GitHub site. Click on sign up and they have this awesome interactive sign up process, which is nice. It definitely did not used to be that way, but this is fun. So pick an email that's a legit email that you have access to because they will send you a verification code and you are going to need to enter in that verification code to complete this process. Now choose a password, of course, choose something you're going to remember, or if you're using a password manager, pop it in there so you know you can log into it. And then let's pick a username. So as you're filling this out, towards the bottom, it'll let you know if that username you're typing in is actually available or not. So let's see what I want to use because I already have a GitHub account. And let's see. I do, yeah, I already, <laughs> I already have this one. So how can I fix it? Let's see, you can see how it tells you at the bottom is like not available. So let's go with an alternate. So like chicken and waffles. Okay, continue. Now, okay, choose your answer how you want to answer this but i already get updates and announcements from them so i'm gonna say no now we need to prove that we're human and it's a nice little puzzle i thought this was interesting and let's see pick one with identical objects and here's me trying to like okay which ones are identical because it's like super late at night and looking for it there we go. <laughs> All right, click on that. We've proved that we were human. Now here's the piece where they'll send you a verification code to your email. So go to whatever email address you submit it and grab that verification code so we can paste it. All right, cool. So paste that verification code into here and it will auto progress you know, provide us the right verification code. And then you can answer these questions. I'm going to say just me and that I'm a student because this is just a free account that we're using for the bootcamp. So click on continue. Me personally, I decided to leave that stuff blank because you can always go set it up later, but it's just like, eh, I'm not gonna choose anything. That way it's just like a nice clean GitHub account that's just ready to go for the bootcamp. So I left those unchecked. And of course we're focusing on free. Now, if you want over to the right, it shows you what the GitHub Pro has. If you're interested in that, knock yourself out, but I'm gonna stick with this free one. I don't think I've ever had a paid for a GitHub account, like a personal one. I just always use the free one. All right, and we're in it's nice how they did that though. That's pretty cool. So now we're here, um, things are logged in and that it should satisfy the first uh, prereq of just at least having a free GitHub account. So prereq one done.